Hi everyone, I'm Fiona Forbes for Fresh Magazine and I'm joined now by Talia Beckett-Davis. She is the founder and president of Canadian Women in PR and also the owner of Pink Pearl PR. We're detecting a theme. She's obviously in public <laughs> relations. How are you? Yes, I'm well, thank you. So tell us about Canadian Women in PR and why you founded this. Yeah, so um, Canadian Women in Public Relations um, is a networking organization and I started that in 2016 once I realized that an organization for women in PR didn't exist. So I truly felt like it, it was waiting for me to create it. <laughs> uh, as someone that works in public relations, I've uh, always recognized that there was a gender pay gap in my field. And I wanted to have an organization where I could share that work um, in terms of advocacy for women um, that aren't getting paid what they're worth. Um, and we do a lot of research as well. So looking at things like the confidence issues. Absolutely, and also uh, public relations is one of those industries that can be a little bit isolating. So it's great to have somewhere to network yes. and meet people who also do what you do. Yes, that's right. Um, and we found that to be true at our launch event. Um, it was actually a sold out event um, filled with women and men that wanted uh, to come and engage with others that work in public relations and media and just make those meaningful connections. So what was the feedback after you had your first event and everybody got a taste of what women in PR is? To be honest, a lot of people said, why are you doing it? Why is there a need for an organization like this? Uh, why can't you just do it through other organizations and create um, a women's group <laughs> through them? Uh, and I said, we need to have an organization that bec can become an authority figure so that we can really make a difference for women in our field. Um, and again, put the programs in place so that they have the resources that they need to overcome some of these barriers. And this was a few years back that you started it, had your first event, let's yeah. cut to 2020. Where mm -hmm. are you now? <laughs> how has it grown and how is it going? Yes, yeah, so it has now grown across Canada. Um, it's also grown into the USA. So I've, I'm also the founder of American Women in Public Relations. And uh, we held the launch event in New York City, Times Square. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure, but um, I wanted to have it in New York because I felt like, you know, it's New York. So we've arrived, we're in the US, <laughs> and we're here to make an impact. Um, and today, we have tons of online programs, resources in place. We've been part of uh, research studies with a lot of different universities around the globe, so not just North America, that want to have our opinion to form their research. And you actually teach at SFU as well, if anybody's interested. Yes. What do you teach? Yes, I, um, I teach in the Public Relations Certificate Program, um, specifically the Crisis Communications and Media Relations courses. As if you're not busy enough, you also have Pink Pearl PR. Tell me a little bit about what you do. So Pink Pearl PR is an agency based in Vancouver, BC, um, and we specialize in luxury female marketing for baby and kids products uh, and women's uh, fashion brands. Uh, so, you know, if you're looking to build your visibility or um, build your influence or your personal brand, that's something that companies will come to me for help with. So I'm sure you can imagine you have a new product or service, and the last thing you want to do is launch to crickets, right? right? So you need to build your <laughs> yeah. No one's <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so you need to build your audience from your from the very beginning, and that's something that I always tell my clients. You need to build a community around your brand. So it's not just getting a, a placement in an online magazine. You want to create an audience that's really engaging with your message. And that's the power of public relations. And that's what can move your company, your product, your brand forward, obviously. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You've also launched a podcast. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. I love to be involved in so many different projects. Um, it really gets me excited to be part of uh, the success, success of other women entrepreneurs. So I launched the Fempreneur podcast. Um, so if you're interested, you can get more information on fempreneur.com. Um, and it's just getting started. So the goal there is to share my personal public relations tips, uh, marketing, branding strategies, and I've also just started interviewing other female entrepreneurs to get them to kind of share their tips as well. 
Well, thank you so much for joining us and sharing all your knowledge in the public relations world. If you want to find out more about Talia, uh, you can go to pinkprfirm.com or you can go to taliadavis.com as well. Thank you yep. again. And actually, if I can just add one thing <laughs> before we end. She's a publicist. Yeah. She can. Um, <laughs> so when you go to taliadavis.com, um, I also have an online program on there that I would love for you guys to take a look at. Um, it's called the Public Relations Academy. And this is a an online membership where I provide um, female entrepreneurs with the tools to um, take charge of their own publicity. So it's a step-by-step -step plan um, filled with how-to videos, um, templates, all those different resources you can get on there. So on taliadavis.com. Perfect. Thank you so much, Talia. Thank and you. be sure to tune in next time and get fresh with us.